Hello, 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 and welcome to Space Engineers on the Xbox. Back on my Series X. Good morning. This is a very, 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 very short tutorial on projectors. So let's roll straight into this one with a look on the projector. The projector is found in production and medical right here next to the console block. It has two markers to let you know how to place it. The minus at the front and the plus at the top. It has the ability to project blueprints. Any blueprint that you make can be projected with a projector so you can use it for special effects. You can make some very strange looking windows if you desire. And there are a couple of ways to get a projector up and running. Small grid projectors can be built using a landing leg, a battery, a control panel, and the projector itself. Or you can build a rotor cut off the head. And I'll just briefly go through that. Again, I've done this before. But you'll find your rotors under advanced systems pop the rotor down and you'll see that it has a large head. Cut the large head off, go into any control panel and find your rotor. It'll be missing its head, hit lock and add small head. Now, you'll see that there is a small head and you can attach a small block. In our case, I've attached a small grid projector. Here it is, plus at the top, minus at the front. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to jump into this control panel after I get rid of this rotor here. Don't need it anymore. Always make sure to... Always fun trying to get rid of these things. Just sort of fiddle around there. Oh, got it. There. Jump into here. And we're going to look for... On our control panel, our projector. We want projector 2, it's on a subgrid. We want to look at blueprints. Now I'm going to find one of my blueprints that I know will paste in. There it is. You'll be kicked out of the projector, so you want to jump back into the projector again. And you want to hit keep projection. And then you want to pop out of the projector briefly and look. Okay, so you'll see that this battery has gone solid. And a few blocks around have gone solid. This is because the projector is actually sticking into our blueprint. What we want is we want to look at changing our blueprint. This is why we build a control seat or a flight seat next to the projector because we can see the blueprint and adjust it from the control panel. You can actually put the controls for a projector on here. So for instance if we want to adjust this blueprint on the vertical axis if we open up by holding the D-pad and we go to projector 2, uh, you'll notice that there's a problem. Which one is which? This is why I always say, go back into your control panel, find your projectors or projector, and just do this. Rename it, even if you rename it something like projector small. 
it will save you an absolute ton of headaches now because you can see there it is in the list so what we're looking for is on the up direction to increase the vertical offset and on the down direction we want to decrease the vertical offset and on the forward direction we want to increase forward offset and on this direction we want to decrease the forward offset and um, I'm just going to open up the admin time of day and just flick through time so the sun's back like so okay so now if you watch as I push up and push down we can manipulate the projection how we want we want it about there now that's projected but that will not do anything at all at the moment that's a ghost we can't weld it because it doesn't exist it's just a projection here you can see there are blocks so what you need to do is take an armor block like this light armor block and in the case of this blueprint You can now see that there is a block touching our sprue to use a good old miniature painting term that block is no longer ghosted that block is ready to weld now you can automate this process by building a welding route those are a bit complex and on the lower end machines they do cause a fair bit of lag i will cover making a very rudimentary welding room in another video at some point this is just a very very brief look at the projector so if we come up here you'll see that we can start welding up blocks of this ship I'm not going to do the whole thing, but just to give you an idea, if you hold down your welding tool, and you'll need all the parts, by the way, in your inventory, which is why people build welders. That is how to project a projection. To control it using a flight seat, and I always build the flight seats, because if you come out of the flight seat, you can actually switch and see a lot easier if you build a control seat or, or one of the um, other ones with the large panel in front it blocks the view i always build a flight seat to do this and i said you can change your projection brief recap again remember positive front at uh, positive top even negative front so positive top negative front and if you want to do one without a rotor now the only reason that i tend to use a rotor is rotors draw power through a grid there is a downside to this game which i will repeat in another video called the automatic trash removal system if you have an unpowered grid and you move 500 meters away from it if you come back, there is a chance that that grid, grid will not be there at all. It will be gone. So if you're building a ship and its batteries run down, and you go off a couple of kilometers to find materials and come back, that ship is gone. This landing gear will not transfer power to that battery in survival at all. But a rotor 
will transfer power to a grid as you build a ship using a rotor, which is why you will see every time I do a build video or every time I make something, I make something off a rotor. Anyway, briefly, to get a small grid projector up if you don't want to use a rotor, a battery, a landing gear, a control panel, and again, negative to front, positive to top. And if you want to know how to put down a landing gear like I did, very, very briefly before I quit this, we find the landing gears in Chip Essentials. You'll see they are massive. Hold down your left bumper and press X. You will change the size of the block to small grid. When it's small grid, take a note of the axis. It's red, which means it will spin like this around the ankle. Get it in the position you want. Tap down on the D-pad. Rotate it to the green axis. You've got to have the green axis. Then build it. It will drop and it will lock into place. That's the same in survival. A landing gear will actually lock down even though it's not fully built. So you can use it as a kind of place to put things on. However, I don't tend to use them because I like to put power onto my grids. There you go. That is the projector. That's the basic use of a projector. The same deal with this. If I drop into the control panel on this one, I can easily get to the projector. I can go to the blueprints. I can find my scout flyer. Like so. And bring it in. There it is. Again, my scout flyer. Projection. I'll pull it forward a bit. Yeah. It's a little trickier to do on this as it is. There we go. Put it forwards about three or four. Vertical offset. Like so. And again, the same deal. You can't do anything with it until you connect in the projection with an armor block. And it just has to touch like that until that block goes solid. There you are. That is how to manipulate a projection two ways and how to start building using a projector. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. I'm going to keep this one shorter than normal. So I'll say stay safe, take care, have fun, enjoy the game. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Ta-ta.